How's it going everyone? Doing a video on you for gravity. And we did this accessory dwelling unit in the back of the house. Get a clear shot. Got a bond there on this piece of new bar. This 90. Tie wire to the rebar in certain areas just to keep it trained. Continuous over to here. And this next clamp. Spice point between the two rebars. Okay, another point here. Last point of connection right here. So I got basically three point of connection. Two points of connection. You get this label for you to see. I'm not sure if that's capable for you to see, but. There. You can see that it's rated for inert and concrete, direct burial. Lay and lug style clamp. And just nine these up. Just tie wire there again. Keep it supported. Comes up. And then it goes through this PVC sleeve to protect it from physical damage coming through the concrete and then the insulation stays intact coming up into this internet panel so that's the U for ground for this little setup here now you could run a piece of rebar it has to be at least half inch and 20, 20 feet long and embedded down in the footing area and stubbing up and sometimes they have it stubbing up stubbing up like you know the rebar itself is still sub up and then you can bond to that with the clamp you don't have to use a direct barrel clamp but you can bond it to the rebar there and then come up into your panel as well that's if you have a piece of rebar i had this number four lying around so i utilize that and uh you know hitting in a few spots hitting making sure i got good connection between all the rebar pieces each piece of rebar that I connected to was at least 20 feet long, so I know for a fact we're all good to go regarding our grounding electrode. Past inspection, so it's all good to go. So this is just an overview of how it kind of looks. Got some conduit work going on, just stubbing up in certain locations just to help alleviate pulling or having to bore a bunch of holes into the the wood to get from one one spot to another that's it